Hey, Zach here from Frontenac Airfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. Today we're having a look at the Hubba Hubba from MSR. This is MSR's, I'd say, kind of leading tent. It's uh, this is the two-person version. Kind of comes in the middle of, of almost being a full ultralight, but still giving you that livability, packability, and carrying ability for either canoeing, kayaking, or backpacking. Let's have a closer look at it. So first thing we'll talk about is just the, the storage bag it comes in. It's more of a, a duffel style stuff sack as opposed to your traditional in the top tube. Uh, so this is gonna make packing it up a lot easier. Uh, you don't have to worry about kind of jamming it all in there. The poles are gonna integrate in here, really, really simple. Uh, so I think it's, it's a great design uh, that a lot of manufacturers are gonna pick up on. Uh, kind of a couple of small compression sacks here to cinch everything in nice and tight. Um, yeah, perfect, let's have a look. So upon first opening it up, uh, I found a bottle of Fast Cure Seam Sealant. So, uh, MSR has gone away from uh, from one taping seams to not taping seams, and you having to do that yourself. They have applied a sealant on them and redesigned how they stitch the entire thing together to give you a long-lasting tent that's going to be leak-free. If you do find that it's starting to weep a little bit, this stuff here, there's instructions on the bottle how to use it. There's a video online how to use it. It's going to work really, really well. It'll give you lots and lots of years of carefree use. Uh, so our tent poles here, this is the Easton Cyclone series. It's a, a, I mean, the weight on these is unbelievable. Really, really lightweight. Um, kind of have a carbon fiber finish on them. It's the MSR Cyclone. I'm not sure if this is a, a car, a aluminum core with a carbon wrap on them is what it looks like, um, but really lightweight. Uh, it feels really good. Not cold on the hands at all. So let's get these guys set up. I'll also note, uh, I have not used the Hubba series by MSR. I've used the Elixir, I've used the Zoic. I've been really happy with both. Uh, so this is my first time setting up the Hubba, or the Hubba Hubba. So upon building this, this is all one kind of single continuous pole. We've got a couple of hubs in place here, uh, but it's one big, strong, structural, single pole setup. So that's gonna make things really easy. There's no kind of messing around as to what pole's gonna go where. Uh, we're gonna figure out how this goes together really, really quickly. So initial setup, that was that was a breeze. Uh, ben gave me a quick hand just staking down a couple corners here because it is a bit windy out. Uh, so actually this time I staked out the corners first, put my poles on, got it set up, but honestly less than five minutes. Really, really simple. Um, there are instructions on the bag if you're not sure how to do it, but honestly it was really intuitive. One of the easiest tents I've ever set up, for sure. Let's get the fly on, have a look. We got the fly on, uh, we got it all set up. Uh, really simple. I, I really like the adjustable corners they have down here for tensioning it because what you'll find is uh, once the tent has loosened up a bit or if it rains, it, it's going to start to slouch in. You can just go to the corners, adjust the tension on those lines to tighten everything back up. Comes with multiple guy line points and guy line rope. Uh, I would consider bringing some extra or at least moving these guys. They come from the factory up here high. I would move them down to the lower position here to pull this section out here and get it nice and tight. If you are gonna be in some really inclement weather, you're gonna wanna use these other tie down points here just to give the tent some structure. You've got some, you've got a point here, you've got one there on the back, and then again on the other side there. So you've got a ton of points of contact. This tent's gonna be able to handle some really severe weather. Uh, let's have a look inside. So one thing you'll notice on the, the vestibule uh, zipper here is this little, what they call a rain gutter. It's kind of creative because uh, this isn't actually stitched into the, this side of the fly. There's a bit of a space here, so rain coming down here is going to hit here and kind of go down, preventing it all from kind of splashing in, you know, down into the tent, through the mesh or whatever. Nice little feature on there. Uh, the fly itself, this is a nice lightweight, uh, I believe it's a 20D ripstop nylon, uh, so it feels really light, but They've got a what they call the Extreme Shield waterproofing on here, so it's going to give you a lot of uh, a, you know waterproofing, uh, so you don't have to worry about anything weeping through and getting wet in the middle of the night. Nice little tuck point here to roll up your vestibule, and this being the two-person hubba series, the hubba hubba, uh, we've got nice big vestibules on both sides, uh, so each person can either put a pack you know and boots on both sides and you know, you've got a lot of space inside to, to get your sleeping system set up. <laughs> nice smooth zippers on here. Uh, it is a very small zipper system, but again, that's to keep the weight down. Um, but there was no catching there, no tangles. Uh, everything felt really smooth. Uh, 
a nice lightweight mesh here, really thin, very light. It's gonna keep all the bugs out. Um, a nice lightweight nylon here. Uh, so again, they're using these lightweight materials to keep the weight down. Uh, but this is again, a ripstop nylon. So it's gonna add a lot of protection and be able to handle a lot of abuse. Very heavy duty nylon on the floor here. I believe this is a 30D ripstop, waterproofed. Uh, so you don't have to worry about water coming up into the tent. This particular one does not include a footprint, but you can buy one additionally. I recommend it. I just like the extra security of having the footprint either under the tent or in whatever you prefer. You can go both ways. I prefer personally to put it under. You do what you want to do. So inside the tent, uh, this is great. This feels really spacious for a two person tent. You know, with two people, it would be snug, but uh, as far as livability goes, I like the nice high ceilings. It has these really straight sidewalls at the, at the back and the sides here uh, to make it feel a little more spacious than I think what, you know, the actual footprint area is. Uh, combined with the, uh, the vestibules on here, uh, there is a nice livable area for sure. We've got a door on either side. So we've got the vestibule here, the door here. You've got one for your partner on the other side. Same idea, vestibule, nice big vestibule on that side uh, and a screened in door on this side. The way the screen's laid out on here is great. If it's a nice clear night and you don't want to use the fly, uh, you can take that off. You have a nice view of the stars and it would be fantastic. Up top, there's a couple of gear pockets in here. One on each side, you could tuck a little headlight in there to create like kind of an overhead lamp. Uh, and we do have attachment points up in each corner. Uh, so you could add a gear loft in as well uh, to, you know, hang up your stinky socks at the end of the day. Another nice feature on the MSR tents, uh, on this one here, we've got a vent on both the front and the back. And that's gonna allow a little bit of extra air to kind of travel in up over the top of the tent, keeping condensation down to a minimum. If it's cooler night and you don't want that, you just fold it up, keep it out of the way, and snug it down nice and closed. Or if it's particularly rainy, it does, oops, wrong way, like that. There is a nice overlap here, so you don't need to worry so much about water and stuff coming in through that. So this has been a look at the MSR Hubba Hubba, uh, the two person version. What can I say? This looks like a fantastic tent. Uh, I've used the Zoic and I've used the Elixir. Um, and uh, you know what? I think I might move to a Hubba Hubba too this year. Maybe even three person, cause I like a little extra space. Plus if it's uh, me, Kylie and Lila going out, uh, the extra space definitely gonna be needed. Anyway, if you want more information, have a look on the website, frontknockoutfitters.com. As always, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. Thanks again for watching.